with Chief Meteorologist Joe Calhoun. Very heavy line of storms moving into parts of the Susquehanna Valley. You can see the heaviest line just in western sections. And that's the line we're going to have to track. A lot of lightning with it. There have been some reports, as we told you earlier, down in Virginia of some tornadic activity. You can see this line has been developing as warm, moist air has been coming into, especially lower parts of the Susquehanna Valley. Here it is as we get a little closer. You can see how fast it is moving. And we've been estimating 40, 50 miles an hour wind gusts with some of these storms right in and around Gettysburg. This is just some heavy rain right now, but again, that area is moving eastbound as we speak at about 25, 30 miles an hour. 61 right now in Gettysburg. That warm, humid air has certainly moved on in, and that's what's going to be around through the evening hour. Showers and some storms. Some could be heavy, severe even with some strong winds, certainly some heavy downpours. It'll be windy and pretty mild. Temperatures will generally be in the 50s. Then we'll fall back into the 40s overnight tonight. A few showers still in the overnight, but nothing severe. There'll be some brisk winds too out of the west and southwest. And then cloudy, windy tomorrow. There'll be a few afternoon showers of either rain or wet snow, but they're going to be hit and miss. Temperatures will get into the 40s to near 50 degrees through the morning and then start falling back in the afternoon. But the threat of severe weather continues through this evening. Tornadoes, a low possibility, but still a possibility. We're just we're watching some brief spin ups, a possibility. I'm mainly concerned about damaging winds and, of course, flash flooding, too, as this rain comes down fast and furious. Here is the tornado watch, not just the Susquehanna Valley, but also down into Virginia. It's that same air mass that's affecting us and over to New Jersey. I think we'll start shaving some of these counties back after about seven or eight o'clock, but you know, we'll be here to keep an eye on that. Again, here comes that line coming in, but this is some very heavy rain moving through parts of the valley right now. Look at the temperature differences. 62 in York to 45 in Harrisburg. There is a warm front snaking its way just north of Route 30 right now. That is the concern right along that warm front where that warm air penetrates. But see, predictor by 7, 8 o'clock, it's moving into eastern counties and moving out. And then a few more showers come through overnight tonight. Temperatures get down into the 40s. We may bump up a little bit tomorrow morning, midday into the mid 40s. Then it gets cooler and even some rain or snow showers start popping up with instability tomorrow afternoon. And a lot of changes coming over the next 12 to 24 hours. And again, the flash flood watch is in effect. That's only till 9 o'clock, but we'll continue to keep an eye on the streams and the creeks. Most are forecasted to get to close, close to that action stage. We have a link on our website. You can check the live river stages and stream gauges there. So after that, just a few flurries or a snow shower or a rain shower tomorrow afternoon. Dries out, but a blustery, chilly day on Friday. Saturday's looking okay, but a little bit on the cool side. Then temperatures start to rebound as we head through the early part of next week. Another chance of some showers coming in on uh, Monday. Our weather watcher umbrella for this afternoon, uh, Kathy Wiley from New Providence. Congratulations to Kathy. That 